It, it is a very rewarding job. And even though we're covered in mud today and my heart rate's up a little bit, we had the easy part of it. We're truly thankful for people in each community who bring these stories to us and want to be part of the program. So yeah, we have the easy part, albeit wet some days. Well, and you are telling stories that I, I, I didn't know this story and I didn't know that it happened here in Culpeper. Uh, she, Cornelia Hancock should be a household name. And thanks to the team at Visit Culpeper and Karen, who was one of the original historians we talked to and the pastor, we have it out for people from around the world to come be inspired by. Because let's be real, she was a pretty inspiring young lady. It is, and, and, and to be able to bring people here, you, you're, you're teaching them, they're, they're seeing Culpeper in a way they haven't seen it. This is... Uh, this this really you know it's it's a it's a one story at a time thing that you guys are involved in all up and down the east coast yeah i mean here's an opportunity to stand in the footsteps of a trailblazing young woman i mean she defied de defied social norms told her bosses now nah, i'm just going to go ahead and do this anyhow and despite ongoing combat around Culpeper during the winter encampments she's she's you know, still out here making advances in, in medical science and medical care it's amazing and to be able to stand here in her footsteps and sort of think about this landscape as being full of men and camps and smoke and then here comes this just tenacious bonnet through the you know the cloud and the morass is yeah. just it's awesome it paints an amazing picture so civil war trails if people want to get involved help financially to what you do how can they do That's that a great question thank you for asking yes we are a nonprofit organization although we do have municipal partners like visit Culpepper who make a lot of these things happen we do take donations. We need them for, you know, things like boots on days like today, uh, new tools, gas to go into the van. Um, we take donations regularly, and of course they are tax deductible if you file that way. But there is a way you can get involved that doesn't cost you any money. When you arrive at a Civil War Trails site, snap a sign selfie and post it with hashtag sign selfie and tag us at Civil War Trails or whatever municipality you're in. If you arrive at a Civil War Trails site and the sign looks oh, a little decrepit or a little old, send me an email I, we need to know there's just chris and i for all six states so be our eyes and ears and most importantly be a nerd so if you're out at a site and you're like oh man my ancestor was there and i have a photo of him or i got this really good quote from somebody who was at this engagement share it with us these signs are living and breathing they're crowdsourced by each one of you so share that information with us we could try to put it on the landscape with your help but again we see these signs all over all over this area and they all tell a story and stop by and look at them sometime this is this is how they're made you're seeing it happen a lot of people are like i just drove there the other day and i didn't see a sign and then poop they pop up uh -huh. and this is how they pop what's your schedule like like what's the rest of the week look like for you drew oh man so we're gonna leave here hopefully go check out the brewery to uh raise a raise a glass to the ten tenacious cornelia hancock then we got to go fix a sign north of richmond we're going to stop at two of our materials vendors and get ready for an installation in appomattox on thursday meanwhile we're planning a run into western maryland pennsylvania and west virginia that's going to be about 45 signs that we're going to do in a week so we're busy ted